Welcome back to another Learning Studio in two minutes. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at conditional statements. So let's go ahead and dive in and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So conditional statements are just if then statements. And what they're gonna do, it's going to check to see whether a statement is true or false. If that statement is true or that condition is true, then you can run some code as a result. So in this case, we're gonna be using a for loop to loop through all the different objects in the workspace. And the first thing that we wanna do is use an if statement to see whether the object is a part or not. So we can do that by saying if, after the word if is gonna be the statement that's either gonna be true or false. So we're gonna say child, and then we're gonna say colon is a. Inside the parentheses, we're gonna be making sure it's a part. So what we're doing is we're taking a look at each object inside the workspace, and we're asking the question, is that object a part? So that can either be true or false. And then if that's true, we can do something inside the if statement. And let's just do something simple. So let's just say print and child. All right, so let's go and run the code and check it out. So down here in the output, it printed all the objects that were parts. So we have the base plate and then the parts one through six. Let's go and take a look at another example for conditional statements. So now what we're doing is we're using a second if statement inside of the first one. So after it checks to make sure that the object is a part, the next thing we're gonna check for is to see if the part's name is equal to three. And if that statement is true, then we're gonna change that part's color to green. Okay, and we can see right here that part three has changed to green. Okay, so what it did, it took a look at all the objects inside the workspace. After this first if statement, we're left with just these items right here. And then for the second if statement, it's taking a look at these objects right here and seeing if one of the parts has a name of three. It's only true for one of the parts, this one right here. So that's why we only have one green part. Okay, so just as a quick recap, conditional statements or if then statements have two different parts it's gonna have a statement that can be true or false. And then if that statement is true, then it's gonna have some action that runs as a result. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.